now i'll tell you another thing this was in 2015 uh, much later 2015 and the palakkad shirdi sai temple was making a, a, a documentary called sai mahima and i am participating in the uh, program it's about sai baba places where sai baba went sai baba story in shirdi so they were filming and i was participating my uh, wife uh, devi and uh, mila were there and a few of our people were there and uh, we were doing the filming uh, one man contacted me one of our friends contacted me from dubai and said are you interested to meet somebody who lived with baba i said of course of course but uh, it i thought that there is nobody who lived with baba exists today because baba left in 2018 and uh, 1918 now this is 2060 2015 so it's almost 100 years you know close to 90 95 years so uh, it's very unlikely that i will meet somebody who lived with baba so i said if there is somebody yes then he said baba ganesh ananda giri who lived with baba is in shirdi and here is the number that was a big surprise but the filming was on and continuously happening so i gave my number to preeti dogal i said please call him and take an appointment i thought he will have an ashram he will have disciples and he will be staying and uh, it so happened that when this call came he was in the icu he was in hospital he didn't have any disciples he got my mes- message and he said i'll come and meet you at gurustan and uh, we did not know he just came he sat at gurustan and he was unwell he fell unconscious so they took him to the to the neighboring nearby uh, hotel and he was rested there and from the hotel i'm getting the call baba ganeshananda giri is waiting for you here i ran from my the filming i ran there and uh, he was th- this is the reception and there is a room behind the reception there is a door on the side and there are about 6 or 8 steps to the reception i came my rest i came up the stairs the steps and i'm here so baba baba was lying down baba ji ganeshananda giri was lying down with his head towards the door uh, so he can't see me he said is towards the door and he was lying down on a bench uh, he i'm hearing him mohan ji aa jao mohan ji come so i i went uh, inside i met him and uh, he was saying i waited for you 3 years sai baba told me to meet you so it was shirdi baba's instruction to meet me the boy who walked with sai baba book has all the details so the the main thing is like uh, uh, baba speaks to him every day 6 am every day 6 am he goes alone and he sits and baba speaks to him and uh, he lived with sai baba uh, ganeshananda giri baba ji was born in 1911 baba left in 1980 so few years he was with him and he was mostly living with shama madhavrao deshpande so uh, this uh, connection i understood and he explained baba also said mohan ji's people are my people no nakara means don't don't be naughty with them i mean don't don't be rude to them and baba ji was really taking care of our people he was really loving us taking care of us blessing us it was an amazing experience and it was baba working through him and he used to tell me i am standing by you my guru is standing by you nobody can touch you i mean that kind of very beautiful very powerful that kind of presence uh, my guru means baba sai baba sai baba and i am standing by you do your job in the world you know nobody can touch you and also he told me one thing very clearly don't expect everybody to understand you but you you go ahead with your work you we are all pleased by you your work you go ahead with it and uh, we will support you they are supporting me even now there is much more to it but more in the book uh, the boy who walked with sai baba but uh, ganeshananda giri baba ji left in 2016 i met him in 2015 few months later he left he attained maha samadhi in uh, uh, chennai his samadhi is there but uh, all, all that thing it was it was a big revelation you know uh, again this is connected to sai baba that's why i'm telling this now uh, in in january uh, i had a very bad experience with some of my colleagues uh, one one associate made a problem for me and stuff like that 
so uh, it was it was a painful experience and we, i was going through that problem baba ji calls me ganesh anand giri i want to come and meet you so i was with my parents in palakkad kerala so i said baba ji you don't come here i'm happy if you are coming here i'm very grateful but uh, i i should come and meet you where are you is i'm in chennai said i'm coming there so me and uh, rajesh kamath we went to uh, chennai to meet him and um, uh, he wanted to set up a big shirdi baba temple in uh, uh, sri perimbatore near near chennai uh, so he was, said we should support i said i'll support as much as i can as, as per my capacity and he uh, booked a hotel room for me in a five star hotel so i said i said baba ji i stay with you i don't want to stay in a star hotel etc i'm i'm happy to stay where you stay he said no shirdi baba's instruction he said he instructed that i i should be staying in this hotel and he said he is a raja rishi he should be staying in the hotel and for the first time uh, baba ganesh anand giri came with me to the hotel he came to the room there are pictures of me and he actually came and received me at the airport such an old person great uh, great great master but he came and met me at the airport received me hugged me and then um, uh, took me to the hotel and he walked all the way into the hotel he came into the room walked around even to the toilet making sure everything is okay because he said sai baba instructed he said sai baba told me and he goes to the limit of the instruction everything he 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 performs so he uh, he accommodated me and then we had a discussion then uh, uh, we supported as best as we could but the, the mandir did not happen because he left already and also it the the way baba does it it's, it was very interesting uh, one day he called called ganesh anand giri baba ji called and said i want uh, some cement i want some steel i want some the small stones you know the blue stone or something what do you call it the metal which you use for uh, construction uh, this i said how much quantity baba ji so he said this much quantity then we announced in our group and in no time people contributed and we supplied and baba ji was really happy please remember this is not we are forcing it it's baba orchestrating it through us because we announced it that uh, this ki- this kind of materials are needed the materials came uh, you know many people volunteered and contributed and, we, and those are the materials finally we used for they they used for uh, ganesh anand ji baba ji samadhi can you believe it well before when he was in the body so um, the uh, whole play of baba it's very difficult to explain see when lot of people are having experiences of baba and uh, this is this is very very important to know that uh, all you need is that connection and surrender this is kali's time in kali's time what is needed is remembrance main thing is remembrance second is acceptance third is surrender surrender knowing fully well that uh, this is supreme consciousness in the body sai baba is supreme consciousness in the body knowing that if you surrender there is nothing to worry i am a living example how many turbulations how many troubles i went through you know people whom i trusted betrayed me and so many people tried to to pull me apart but baba baba kept me steady together till now if i am talking today this is his hand his support behind me